Good afternoon guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. I thought I would show you guys. I updated you guys yesterday. Got the cool little um, mason jars all secured in here yesterday. Um, and kind of one of the biggish last projects that we had. Um, we still have a couple other projects to get done here in the office. But we got this put up today this is the um so these were the corner pieces the excess that we cut off here because like this went all the way like that and this one went all the way like that so we ended up cutting it at a corner and got that all cocked in and everything I showed you guys when we did that but we had two extra corner pieces because of it and so this was they were each 25 bucks so it's $50 in total we ended up using this extra piece over here for this top piece um and then I think maybe we have like a little sliver or something like that left from this one but they were about right around this length or so but we had again these corner pieces and I was like oh these would work really well as like a corner shelf you know because they were perfect you know right angles um so we ended up putting these in today and got them put in and literally guys the gap space it was like perfect um because we had a stud here so we secured these into like the studs um and then because of where we did this this raceway stuff with the um the outlets um we had just enough space where we were able to put that underneath the window and still get it mounted into the um the stud and then have the the tv up there with enough space and then get the xbox put in under here and run all the cords back there so you don't see them and then we ended up cutting out so you guys can see right back there we cut out like the little holes um so that you can um run the electric down and then another one over there so all the electric comes out down there and it gets plugged in right here so we ended up doing that today me and my dad got that hung up um um, which again was <laughs> leftover scrap pieces. The only thing we had to get was these brackets, which were like I think four bucks or something like that. Um, and again, had all that other stuff to be able to, um, you know, get all of that done. Um, so we did that today. And then um, my dad also got my mom's de desk chair set up. So I don't know if she's keeping this extra one as well. And she was sanding it like she was going to finish it and then put new like fabric on there, or she's going to get rid of it or not. And then also, you know, or have two desk chairs but then she has this one as well in here there's two dogs sitting on the floor in here because this is like one of their favorite hangout spots I don't know um so yeah like I said we got that in did that yesterday took the doors off my mom got all that organized in there so it's like it's such a nice little organized space I like love this <laughs> um in here it's like super super organized which is not always how my mom rolls a lot of times her stuff is kind of all over the place so like I said it's super like just very organized in here but I love this like you know just having <laughs> we want this to be white obviously right here um but we didn't end up painting that because like this part that outside part is what's finished um which I believe these are actually it's in the they were in like the shelf section at Menards but they work perfect depth wise for, for being a built-in desk pretty much you know you have enough depth and everything like that which I think is about standard or so like desk depth if that makes sense so our leftover bracket pieces um our leftover pieces ended up making these two little tv shelves sort of things and then again extra to have that in there because my mom will watch like netflix or hulu and stuff like that and she could get like a fire stick i guess or something like that but she got an xbox a while ago or maybe I think originally she had one of our old ones and then I don't know if it stopped working or something like that but she ended up just getting this because honestly it wasn't super like it was maybe about like sometimes you get for like 75 bucks or 50 bucks or something like that like a GameStop used um so she didn't spend a whole ton of money and like have Xbox and Hulu and Amazon and all that stuff on there so she can watch that while she's working in here she had the TV already as well so um again have that all nice little setup there and then too we have enough clearance that we're sta still able to use this desk part even too even if it's just more of a storage space sort of back there um but again, got that all taken care of today. And somebody's cranky. What's the matter? So yeah, like I said, we ended up getting that um, taken care of for today. I thought there was one other little thing that we ended up doing, but I guess maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I haven't so far got to anything. It's about one o'clock. I haven't gotten anything done yet um, of my stuff that I needed to get done. Um, it rained today, but I still need to water 
I'm gonna check on the flower boxes. I think they're mostly like a downport for like a little while. Um, so I think that the window boxes are okay. I'm gonna check the hanging baskets just because they're kind of underneath the deck. I don't know if I showed you guys. I've only showed you guys when it's dark outside, but we got that hanging basket. Hummingbirds love those flowers out there. You guys see there's little birdies out there on our, um, what's it called? Did we get a ton of birds, guys? They stink in our loving our bird feeder out here. We have a hummingbird feeder, which I have yet to see a hummingbird at. I've seen two at this basket now, and Jack saw one. So they're definitely liking the fresh flowers more than the um, hummingbird food um, from the, the hummingbird stuff. But we've got tons of birds that are loving our bird feeders. There's We have another smaller one in the front along with another hummingbird feeder just because hummingbird feeder, you can see, they just love this. Like at one time there was like 10, hum, there was like 10 birds on like just pretty much the suet alone. <laughs> they were in love with it. Um, but the hummingbirds really like the one out in front. I don't know if it's because it's shorter, um, but we saw a lot of them in the past, but we just got those new ones this last weekend. So Again, I have to check to see if that basket needs water, and I've got another basket right there. But that is, you guys see, out there too, our um, <laughs> our ugly broken window that has got plywood in it right now. Um, that my dad has been trying to get plexiglass to fill, but right now I think there's a shortage of plexiglass because everybody's using it for like shields like at grocery stores so we tried to get some and they didn't have any of the big enough pieces so they had like little pieces but they weren't gonna fit so anyways um yeah that's why that looks a little ugly right now but um our garden the little flower garden back there is looking good it looks like our um lilies are blooming and then the flower box too but i think that both the flower boxes should be okay i have to check on that and then the hanging basket that's there too so those two hanging baskets and we were all sitting outside last night so that's why we've got extra chairs out on the deck um but yeah guys that's that's a little look at the backyard right now um in our lilac bush that is the one that's planted back there in that corner which we were gonna do like a bed back there i don't know what's going on but for right now that lilac bush is the only thing back there right now i've got dinner in the slow cooker i think we're gonna do um what's it called uh queso like chicken stuff sort of for dinner tonight like you can do it like nacho chicken sort of thing um and then on top of that too I have not gotten to anything else but I need to water the plants that was really it and then edit upload do dishes and laundry which I already did dishes but I have we cooked a lot yesterday for Father's Day so I've got another load that I really need to get done as well so yeah like I said guys I just it's only like one o'clock right now my dad was home today so we got those projects done but I don't really know that there's much else get done like right now so that's why I'm gonna go in my room and go get some like I said some stuff done too and these dogs guys they are loving it in here and they never want to come in my room like at all anymore um like if they have the option they'd rather be in here which is kind of weird I don't know they'd rather even if nobody else is in here like they almost don't even want to be with me they'd rather be on the floor in here isn't that right? Well guys, I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed. It is about 11 o'clock now. I did end up editing, I uploaded, got dishes and laundry done, um, got the plants watered, which honestly, like almost just about nothing needed to be watered. I was like, okay, this is kind of pointless. I filled up my watering can and was like, that looks like it's still wet. That looks like it's still wet. So um, mostly everything really didn't need to be watered. Um, it hasn't been super, super hot out, I guess, the last day or so, really. I mean, it has been, but it's been, like, it, it thunderstormed. It was supposed to thunderstorm yesterday, and I don't think it did until late in the afternoon. And then today it did, um, kind of on and off and, like, downpoured a lot this morning. And then thunderstorm this afternoon, and it was kind of raining when it was dark out, so I have no clue what it looks like right now outside. Um, it was really humid out. Um, so I think that just makes it feel hotter, but it's only supposed to be like 75 I think the next like two days or so and then it's supposed to get back up into being like 80s You know and 90s and stuff like that. I think later in the week um, But again like 75 is a high I think tomorrow or maybe it was today and tomorrow or tomorrow and Wednesday um, So not super hot out or anything but guys the only other thing too that is stinks about well that I love being outside though now that we have you know a nice fence in our backyard a nice you know outside space to kind of sit and stuff like that but 
mosquito bites guys you see that right there on my hand um, which has been bothering me every single time I go to wash my hands which of course like you know got a pandemic going on I gotta wash your hands often <laughs> it is bothering me to no end every single time I rub it I'm like oh my gosh now it itches again <laughs> like I'm going to go wash my hands and I got a mosquito bite on there um so yeah I got I think one other one on my leg somewhere too which actually wasn't that bad because again I spent the last couple days outside more in the afternoon so I only have two mosquito bites I think it's pretty good without putting anything on um again I think I only got two so um yeah we have to look into maybe either getting some like tiki torches like you know those ones that um have the stuff in it to like keep the bugs away or maybe like an electric zapper or you know something outside um you know to just try and kind of keep the bugs away um and there's obviously natural remedies as well to like I believe marigolds are one thing that mosquitoes do not like. There's a couple other types of plants as well that mosquitoes just don't like. So if you grow them in your garden, they tend to kind of not be, you know, kind of stay away a little bit. Um, but we don't have any really growing close to our deck. So, you know, that's not helpful. Um, but they normally don't totally come on the deck they're pretty good about that they're normally it's normally just if you're out in the yard especially at night or on days when it's super humid out like again today and kind of yesterday were um but again spent some more time outside guys and i have been loving to watching the birds like our birds like the birds in our area have figured out where all of you know what the bird feeders and stuff like that are in our backyard um and i think they're trying to kind of figuring out the one in the front too but i've been loving watching them they have just been going crazy over like the bird food in the backyard which is super cool but we're actually going to look into getting a different kind they actually have this one that I was like totally in awe of it was like a it had I think four maybe four or five different um like it was like a shepherd's hook but it was kind of more of like an umbrella and you could hang all the bird feeders on it and it came with all the bird feeders it was only $25 on, at, at Menards and they have it at the store right now and I was like holy cow that's a good price it comes with the pole and like everything from what I understand I was like there's no way this can only be $25 I would like to come with the bird feeders and like all that kind of stuff and it's like a seven foot tall like you know post pretty much like a shepherd's hook um you know and all that stuff I was like there's no way this is only like $25 and so yeah we're gonna go and check and see if it really is if not um I think we're gonna get another um two like we have a two like prong shepherd's hook sort of sort of thing in the backyard um which I think they're called shepherd's hooks but like there's not as many variety like sometimes they're called like different things too um I don't totally know but like they don't have any real short ones like we have a real short one in the front yard that we have one of the hummingbird feeders on and I saw hummingbird today too guys um it was in the front yard as well um on the um it actually didn't go to the feeder though but it was liking our bee ball um it really liked it because it's really pink I think I told you guys like the pH balance I think in that soil is like maybe it's really high like acidic um but it turned what i think was supposed to be like purple flowers they're totally bright pink which i think the hummingbirds really like but they were i saw one out there today so i've seen them um i didn't see any for like the last two days but right before that i think it was like thursday and friday or something like that i saw them out in the backyard and then today i saw one in the front yard i was like oh my goodness this is so awesome um so i think the hummingbirds are finding out you know our gardening you know the garden's got plants in there for them to you know eat out of and then also to just the the feeders and stuff like that along with um the birds like i said you guys saw sometimes there was today at one point four birds on the suet we have to get some more suet feeders because they seem to really love the suet so um that is what we were going to get probably too but anyways guys um i think we're going to the grocery stores earlier this week because my dad has to go get the oil changed i think and then also too um we have a slow leak in one of the tires so my dad needs to get like i don't know put the stuff in the tire or whatever but um get that fixed so i think he's dropping it off on friday so i think we're gonna go on thursday and saturday maybe or something like that but i will let you guys know along with um share with you guys kind of updates on birds and all that kind of stuff because that's my new favorite hobby now is watching all the birds in the backyard too is like the garden looks so nice and it's so mature and like the birds like you know 
the seeds and you know the again hummingbirds like the nectar out of some of the flowers and stuff like that that are back there so it's just like a perfect little oasis of like beautiful plants watching the birds it's super entertaining the only thing i really wish we had more of was butterflies we don't really seem to we grow a lot of stuff that butterflies are supposed to like but we don't really see like any butterflies moths we see a lot of but not a lot of butterflies um i really wish that there was like you know a lot of like you know monarchs or that, you know any kind of butterfly just around here more and doesn't really seem like that so um yeah we'll have to you know just see what else we can grow to try and attract them or what they like and that kind of stuff but um anyways guys i'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a little thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys